Yeah. Yes. Love these guys. Have you decided who's going first, guys? All right. Fuck yeah, dude. I love yeah. it. Somebody's got to save it. I look enough like Tom Brady. Fuck it. Let's go. No, you do not. Oh, no. It's Tom Brady. All right. It's, it's off the rails already. Beautiful man. Okay. All right. Who, you look who, like an offensive lineman for Tom Brady. Uh, damn. You're going first? You look like an offensive, but you're no man. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going first. Seven jokes each. One, two, three. <laughs> Guys, it's fucked up that his name's Harry, but he can't grow a beard. It's weird, right? Like, my mom named me after her dad. His mom named him after her shaggy twat. <laughs> is there, I'm sorry, is there a doctor in the house? Uh, not a real one, no. Uh, also, you have not seen my ass. Uh, it's extremely hairy. Bob looks like a janitor that refuses to clean gender neutral bathrooms. <laughs> Harry, uh, Harry's a lot like New Year's. Uh, always kind of disappointing and only one ball dropped. <laughs> I have varicose veins. It's a medical issue. I was talking to the doctor about it upstairs and he told me to kill myself. All right. Bob's last name is Keen, which means smart and highly developed, which means that Bob Keen is an oxymoron, which is cool because he also looks like a moron that's hooked on oxy. <laughs> Harry, there's a terrifying cold emptiness behind your eyes. You're like Hannibal Lecter if you did odd unboxing videos. <laughs> that would get a lot of views, though. All right. uh, speaking of viral videos, Bob has the same body, wardrobe, and face as one of the hamsters from the Kia Soul commercial. <laughs> the difference is that they own a car and people have heard of them. I'm just amazed he can remember a commercial from when he was four. <laughs> Harry, I'll bet when you come, you yell, like and subscribe. <laughs> this guy, nope, I this guy calls the clip the like button. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta rub the like button. All right. It's pretty, it's pretty cool being able to roast myself in 20 years if everything goes horribly wrong. <laughs> Like, Bob is literally my ghost of Christmas future. <laughs> I think it's and, and much like a ghost, uh, when Bob's in the room, nobody really notices him, but you do feel very uncomfortable. I, I just think it's adorable that he think he's going to go through puberty at 30. <laughs> uh, look, I, I, honestly, I, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I never thought I'd get roasted by the world's first asexual date rapist. <laughs> <laughs> just like, love the game. <laughs> You, you seem like you'd be in defeat if you could afford the hookers. <laughs> Those have to be the cheapest ones, right? All right. Still I'm money. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Still money, Logan Paul's tapeworm. God damn. All right. All right. <laughs> Bob's wife is half his age and the same height as a 10-year-old. Uh, Bob is a pedophile in the same way that O.J. Simpson was a murderer. Because legally, he's not. But we know. <laughs> Come on. How about her getting roasted for achieving my goals? Fuck you. <laughs> you, guys, you guys would never guess to look at him. Harry is actually 5% Jewish. And it's hiding from the other 95% of him. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Uh, Bob looks like the kind of guy who says he could beat Caitlin Clark one on one. <laughs> Even though she's taller, more athletic, and definitely has a bigger cock than him. <laughs> All right, guys, look. I found out something about Harry. Uh, oh, man. Oh, man. A week before Harry's dad died. <laughs> He, he told him that he wasn't his real dad. And uh, I actually invited your real dad here tonight. I'm a test tube baby, guys. That's what the joke is. Well, actually, this, uh, uh, that was just a joke. It was a gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. I didn't know you were a prop comic, Bob Keen. All right. 
Bob has been impressively bad at comedy for almost 13 years now. Um, he, he's probably the... <laughs> right, settle down. He's probably the only person that's endured more bombs than the children in Gaza. Which is sad, because unlike Bob, they have a future. All right. <laughs> or they could have, I guess, sorry. All right, give it up for them, everybody. Oh my God. Oh, that's so gross. That's so gross. Give it up for them one more time, everybody. It's a hell of a final battle. Between two lovely white men that I would never want to be friends with. <laughs> David. Dude, that was a great battle. Give it up for them one more time to round out the night, man. Um, I do let it be known that what Harry said impressively bad at comedy, all of the panel went true. <laughs> 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 so this was awesome. Uh, this honestly, this battle answers every like young man's question of what if I fought my dad. <laughs> uh, and I gotta give it to Harry, man. You came out swinging. I loved it. it Harry gets awesome. the vote. Hell yeah, dude. To be fair, I can beat up a test team too. Just saying. Oh man, let's go to Brandon. What did you think? <laughs> All right, this is uh, this is great. Uh, this is, you guys are before and after whiskey dick. Uh, <laughs> Literally, Bob, you have 10 years on him in and, uh, and comedy, and uh, we could not tell. Um, uh, and anyway, the t I, you know I love a good prop, Bob, and I want to vote for you so much, uh, but Harry got your ass tonight, buddy. Yeah, I'm giving it for Harry. Okay, Harry gets two. Oh, shit. Michael. All right, Bob, man. At least you didn't fall on your face today. <laughs> This crowd totally gets that right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go with... Bob, I can't give it to you, man. Yeah, Harry, you came out swinging, dude. That was funny as fuck. So yeah, you, you got this one. Okay, Harry wins the battle. Give it up for Harry. Doing a great job. <laughs> Looking like he just got molested by the Doctor of Laughter upstage. <laughs> what, what did you think, Michael? Uh, folks, let's give it up for White Boy Bummer. Um, yeah... You looking for an applause break? No, I, I'm missing I think you was. your Shigo ass sweatshirt. Um, actually, Harry, can we lift up your shoes real quick? Can we give it up for those bikini bottoms with the fly ass shoes? Pineapples. Uh, Pineapples. Yeah. Pineapples. All right. No one. Guys, I uh, I didn't really like it on either side. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm gonna have to give it up to Harry. Uh, he was more consistent for me. Some had so had some better joke writing. So I'll give it up to Harry. Okay, Thank Harry you. gets another vote. Allie. I didn't have to ask their names this time. I know the white men. <laughs> Thank you. I um, Harry, you crushed it. Bob, you remind me of the cockroach I killed in my apartment last night. <laughs> I just, but no, you did well too. <laughs> I was just thinking about that the whole time. I'm gonna give it to Harry. Okay, Harry wins the battle, but this was awesome. Give it up for them. Thank you for doing it. Get out of here. No, you're bringing your cum tubes out. You return the return those to the dock upstairs. You fucking you actual drunk. Get the fuck out of here. I, okay, what a weird night that we've all had. We've seen probably crimes. We've laughed. We've cried. We've come. Now, are you guys? How are you guys feeling? Thank you for coming to Rose Battle Chicago. You feeling good? We are here first and third Thursdays.